here. We got to our campsite last night yep. in the mountains of California. Didn't look like Santa it. Paula, I think is the name of the town. And now we're about to head out. Luckily, since we didn't stay long, everything's pretty much in its place. I told Andrew that I did my hair like this in middle school. It's amazing, isn't it? I would curl this part of my bangs back, wear this part forward. I wanted it to be just like that. I um, I, I think I get the, your sense of style from you, Mom. <laughs> yep. Okay, let's get out of here so we can pull this room back. The slide isn't coming in. Why? Tomorrow's Thanksgiving. We need to do our Thanksgiving shopping still. Okay, maybe um, go out and just give slight. this side right here yeah. a slight push. Push. Okay. Did Dad tell us to push that? Yeah, he told me to. No, just mommy. Okay. Here, hold this. Just you. Yep. Okay. Is that the side you want to be? here? Wait, I need to go hold the branches out of the way, Mom. Oh, okay. Is that a bending? No, that's supposed to bend. <laughs> yes, it's in! <sighs> I pushed. Elijah held the tree out of the way. Amy! You pushed too? Where did I, you push? I pushed, I I pushed, pushed I whenever it started slowing down on my side. Ugh. Oh. It like stopped like four inches before it was done. I'm like, no! But then it went went in. Uh, Woo! Trouble. Mom. What? My favorite number is 720 because it's six factorial, which is six times five times four times three times two. Wait, one. you've had a lot of favorite numbers. In the no, it's the same. Minutes. It's the same favorite number. Oh. You see, I like three, 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 three math are perfect numbers, anti primes, and factorial. So I just add them all together because six is a perfect number and to anti prime, and then I just make it into a factorial. Mm. So it's seven hundred twenty if you do that. But what? It's my favorite number. Just go get in the car. Where oh, are your shoes, Pearl? Skipping? No. Skip on rocks. Yeah, that's true. Didn't sink into the rocks. <laughs> thanks, dude. Were you trying to talk to me? I said thanks. Oh. Okay. We just got here, Bam. and we got a great, the ocean is just right over those hills, you can kind of see the sand dunes, but yeah, pretty fun. Okay, hey, okay. moment of truth, we, we got now, here. Wait, wait, let's look back here, make sure nothing fell behind it. Is that something to consider? Looks good. Okay. Okay. That curtain on the curtain. The curtain won't get in the way. Out it goes. That was out easy. I think it's because it wasn't level. Think so? Yeah. Alright, well, we should be good this time. Then. What? Okay, yes. Okay. A short walk from our RV. We get to this. Hence the name of our RV park, which is Paci Pacific Dunes. Pacific Dunes. Here are the dunes. Are those our kids right there? Yeah. Let's see, are they out there somewhere? Way yeah. out on the horizon? No. Yeah, I heard the I didn't. I didn't think it was gonna be this big of a like dune area. But yeah. it goes on for quite a ways. Better get a picture. Here, dude. 
Come over here. No. We're gonna climb up this, okay? Think you can make it? Yes. Yes? Come on. Yeah. Can you do it? Yeah. Mommy made it. Here, hold my hand. Here we go. Made it. It feels like we're walking across the Sahara Desert or something here. I'm gonna guess that walking back will not be such an exciting proposition. It's always easier to walk a to a place to than to walk Asher, away from it. Yeah, no, Come on, Jude. How's Pearl gonna get here? Go back with Jude, and then he can bring her back. Go back with Jude? No, I'm kidding. Okay, we're about to come over to the top here. Yeah. What's it gonna look like? Are we gonna see the ocean? Oh, oh my goodness. Just more sand dunes. Oh there they are. There's the ocean. Hey! There they are over there. This is like the untouched sand. Untouched by human feet. You should come and jump on it. Should I? Make your mark, Megan. <laughs> it's not as soft as you thought it was gonna be. All right, what have you guys been up to over here? Sliding down, it's awesome. You're sliding down it? And I don't have a shirt on. What, where's your shirt? I lost it. Come on, Gio, come with me. Just walk over this way, right here. Come on. Come on, Jude. Yeah. What? Right in the Eva and I started. Just keep walking. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have so much sand in our hair. Yes. Watch out, I'm gonna go really fast! Sandboarding! I'm gonna go really fast, so watch out! Okay, everybody. Woo! Backwards! <laughs> okay. Alright, if you're wondering where the girls are, they Esther didn't want to come, Eve didn't want to come, Pearl is doing her dishes chore, so Pearl will probably show up here a little bit later. Okay. Yeah, that's one problem. You gotta either bail out or run off. I can sit down there. Here we go. 
Wow. Okay, here goes Dad. On the longboard. Wait, wait. Don't push me. Round one. You have to screw a little bit before it actually starts going. Okay, we're gonna run to the line down at the bottom. And then they gotta race back up to the top. Whoever gets to the top first wins. Okay, on your mark, get set, go! Go! <laughs> My voice still cracks sometimes. All right, now, <laughs> back up quick! Climb it! Come on! Elijah wins again. One of the benefits of being the oldest and the biggest. Daddy, sand in my face! Ow! Daddy, you gotta be careful with that rope. Daddy, you sand in my face! Peter says that Jude can ride on his back. Yeah, that one works. Just sit here, Jude, just sit on Peter. He'll be like your own sled. No. Human sled. No? no? Did I not? Alright. Okay, next race is a rolling race. Asher has prepared himself by covering his head with a shirt. Natural choice. Okay, ready? On your mark? Get set, go! Roll! It was actually 10 seconds! I think Andrew might have won that one. That, didn't, that looked like a race that was not intentional. My head is spinning. Watch out, Elijah! I can't see a thing. Okay, I gotta... Jude is not convinced that he should go with Peter on the sled. Peter's trying to get him to. What do you think, Jude? Do you want to go with Peter? You want to go with Peter? No. You want to go with Daniel? Um... Dad, is he... Is he going to who do you want to go with? Go. Who do you want to go with, Daniel or Peter? I want to do the car with me. Do you know who you want to go with? Go you. You want to go with me? Yeah. Okay, then I gotta find someone to hold the camera. Don't do that. Huh? Don't do that. No, it'll be fun. Come here. Just put your feet out. Oh, can I try okay, your we'll just, we'll, we won't go very fast. I'll keep put my feet, feet out. Down. Come here. I'll keep my feet down so you don't go too fast. No. Because I don't let it go. Okay, Jude. Here we go. Hold on, boy. I'm not sure we're going to go very fast. Woo! Oh, yeah. I got my Yay! Let's go a little bit back. Don't do too much. 
too much. Back. Scoot back. I don't have any more. Okay, okay, okay. You, you, you can like that. Okay, ready? Oh no, yeah, no, yeah, I'm ready now. Okay, oh. good luck. <laughs> Put your feet on. Oh, okay. Oh no, you're going too fast. Slow down. I think this is the closest thing to sledding we're gonna get this year, Andrew. I hope it's alright. Well it is Christmas time. Well it's Thanksgiving, but you know. Hey, Dad, we made it. You made it, good job. I saw that. Okay, we made it back. You guys all covered in sand or what? Instead of sledding, we did this this year. Yeah, this was in in, in, in place of sledding. We we sanding. What would you call sledding in the sand? It is not as discomforting. We slanted. And it's not cold. It's hey Pete, do you got a bunch of, uh, of, cold of sand in your hair? Who wants to take a Probably little do, right? cold shower? I don't know if anybody does. Uh, like a, not very cold, but a little bit cold. A little bit cold. I don't yeah. know. Who does? Are you gonna take a shower? Hey, if you're gonna take a shower, grab your towels first. And stuff. <laughs> so we're off to um, get our Thanksgiving groceries. Um, no, what we're off to first is to get gas because Megan <laughs> decided to play that game where <laughs> you see how far you can go with the gas needle being below empty. And we're testing that right now. It is like it's been below empty for a long well time. Below. I didn't want to tell Mike, but and okay. Also, all you people who are car people, I know it's bad to run a car below the quarter tank because it's bad gas. Whatever. I hate filling up for gas. I am spoiled because my husband usually it like does it for me. All costs. <laughs> I'm just gonna go right here. It's kind of like as much as I avoid putting a new roll of toilet paper on the toilet paper thing. I do that now because Mike says, hates that so much that I try hard to do that. All right, sorry, I forgot. Okay, so we're going Wait, we Thanksgiving first? shopping. We got to get a bite to eat because we did not buy enough for dinner. The kids ate it all. Um, and Mike's a little lives. depressed. I think partially because oh. he hasn't eaten. But I think also because what, Mike? Well, I just... I just sort of felt sad about how, like, we pulled in today. It's the day before Thanksgiving, and you're in a, this strange place. I don't know anybody here. Um, my phone is still talking to me for some reason. Um, RV parks are never in nice towns. Yeah, it's not a real nice town, and it's just like we don't have a way to really make everything we usually make for Thanksgiving in the trailer. And that's so it just made me kind of sad. Yeah, I real I'm not sad, but I realized today that the joy of Thanksgiving for me, and I know this is not everybody, but for me is the meticulous preparation. Like where yeah, Wednesday I start I start with my my like I make like this like ten pound apple pie. It's a long process, it's slow, it's quiet. I like making my own crust and then um, I have several recipes that we all like adore. We only make at Thanksgiving and they take a lot of preparation and, um, and like resources. Yeah, course. like and like we just don't we can only cook using a couple things at a time and so it'll be really interesting. I don't think you're going the right way. I shouldn't have passed that. It's a cute little street. Bridge this, this is streets. like the this is like the beach access. Place. Oh, the beach is right here. So, Life's a beach, and then you baby. know, you realize like you have no family or friends. Like, oh, it would have been nice to have somebody I knew. But we've got a lot of people in our family. <laughs> what? We have a lot of kids, so it's not like it'll be quiet or. I know. I think I'm just think hungry. I'm just tired. In a bad mood. And Sorry, it's bouncy. We're in like a turning around in a sand parking lot. So now we're gonna go grab a bite to eat and then we're going to get what we can. We have some things that we got at Costco, but get the rest of our Thanksgiving groceries, our Thanksgiving haul. Um, and I still need a few things for the table to make it look nice. 
I don't agree with that. There was a slight eye roll there, I think. Was there? I was like a, it. it was just a stare at the camera. Mm, okay, good. No, it's true. It, we want to make it festive. I don't want to like... We don't want to be depressed and have a look exactly... I mean, it's still a folding table and a picnic table, but... And we're still eating outside in the elements. That's also, I think that got to me too. Well, we have to eat all of our meals outside. And that also gets old because you're subject to wind. Wind is my biggest, the biggest thing I hate. Because it's always blowing everything off the table. And it, and it makes you cold. <sighs> just kidding. But we actually knew this might happen. We were planning on spending Christmas just somewhere random too. And a few weeks ago as we got closer to Thanksgiving, we're like, I don't think we want to do that. I think we want to. I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, that's a wheel wet wagon. Um, so we are. Kerplunk. Kerplunk. Um, we are Mighty going wind. to hurry. Yes, those are from Mighty Wind. Just shows you we're nerds. We are going to um, hurry through California. We would spend a lot longer here, but we just want to be with family on Christmas. So we're going to hurry to Houston, Texas by Christmas. Um, but we knew we were going to spend Thanksgiving alone. So Alone with all 11 of us. I know. <laughs> with just 11, 11 people. But we just aren't living like that. I was telling Mike that um, it's gotten to the point now, we've been on the road for six months, where I can never remember where we are. I'll wake up in the morning, or even just be in the afternoon, just sitting on my bed, I'm like, wait, where are we? And I cannot, it takes me a minute, I'm like, I have to go through all of these locations, like, no, we're not there anymore, we're not there anymore, not. and I don't know what it looks like outside my RV. And it's not a bad thing, like, it doesn't bother me, it's just weird. It's weird. But I'm really grateful for the RV because we, we, we would. no matter how much our outside change on you know that where we're at, the location changes, our house is always the same. That helps a lot, don't you think? It does. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, after this after this trip is over, we've explored the U.S. I think we will leave the U.S. but not travel in an RV, and that hopefully by then we'll be ready to do that. Because I think if we went straight to that, we would have been homesick a lot, and exhausting. Probably because of all the change. Even more than we already are. So, anyways, heading up to San Luis Obispo. I think that's how you say it. Or she told me, my hairdresser told me, it's called Solo by the locals. We're going to Solo. Um, but, um, because that's where all the good shopping is. 